Lucky here. It's the Pat and JT Podcast. Pat and JT Podcast. Dax Holt has been our friend for 15 years. years and we are uh, we have him on. He's from Hollywood Pipeline. He's from TrophySmack.com. Yeah. He uh, formerly from TMZ, spiky haired blonde guy, and now he's our best friend. Hi, and Dax. And on TV, too. <laughs> Hello. And on TV. Yeah, Access Hollywood. Access Hollywood. Yeah. 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 All that uh, stuff. Live with Kelly. Live with Fish Kelly. Nation. Come on, let's just do the whole resume while we're at it. the whole thing. You yeah. almost were her partner. I was almost Seacrest before Seacrest. Right? <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, you were. Dang oh, it. God. Now, look at me now, guys. He's what was probably it? so jealous. You're talking to us from your bedroom. Look, at, look, at, all, look at all of us. <laughs> Woo-hoo! What was the name? What was the guy's name that was his first partner on American Idol? Yeah, Dunk- I Dunkelman. I Dunkelman right now. Yeah. Ah, Dunkelman. You are Dunkelman. <laughs> Dunkelman 2.0. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I can't focus. What is that thing? behind you on the floor is that a fan is oh, that a yeah there's heat? a little fan down there it's a little usb fan you Just got like a little butt fan down yeah by you. <laughs> hey man <laughs> don't knock it till you've had your own usb butt fan <laughs> you get that fantastic hot. yeah it's it gets cool. pretty intense it does Tough. yeah this is this is the podcast room your vest heating you up in there it is i love my and my wife always makes fun of me for zipping my vest i i, I like it is it, like, is it like a, uh, what do you call for a thunder coat for yeah, a dog? Yeah, it's like a, like a squeeze jacket. Yeah, like the Temple Grandin squeeze I, jacket. I've tried best. I think they're just so pointless. I'm like, they don't keep me warm. My arms are cold. My head's cold. Like, but I what love, the but, hell is the but, point of a oh, vest? But see, but, but see, it frees up your arms if you, if you need to fight. And if you, and it just keeps you, it keeps my core warm and can I, I can just move say, around. The, the men that I've seen that yeah. do wear these vests are not the ones I see getting in a fight. Yeah. Okay. Fair They're enough. Like wearing a tank top in winter, like okay, <laughs> not doing anything for you. I don't know why. I mean, that's a good point, but, and, and then my wife wants me to leave it open and I'm like, I, if you're going to wear a vest, it's completely zipped it's up hug you. Yeah. all the way up. It's, I mean, <laughs> all the time. I love it. <laughs> Well, as long as you're comfortable. I am. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Me do me. He feels secure. I do. His, when his vest is yeah, on and zipped up. A little thunder coat. If, I, if, if you get thunder or any fireworks go on, I won't pee on the floor. I'm fine. Chew you through your leash. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, can't stop everything. <laughs> All right. Let's 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 start with, uh, let's start. You mentioned the, the trophy business, Pat. Um, let's talk a little bit about your 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 gig that you got going on your sidelines so funny i mean like this is like the one time year that it's a it's a big deal right now because fantasy football is ending um and so the you know it it all ends everyone goes to their playoffs and um next week it is going to be insane sorry when are we when does this air i didn't know what to say that's right you're fine you're good that's fine it's going to be aaron this weekend um, as we speak, we're recording on Friday as we're doing this. So it'll be coming out uh, actually tomorrow, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Okay. Well, so, perfect. perfect. Well, go buy your fantasy football trophy. If you win, if you're a winner in your league, <laughs> go to trophysmack.com because you're going to want our trophies. But no, I, it's, it's just, uh, it's, it, it comes down to Monday, Tuesday, and basically Thursday after, after Christmas is like our biggest rush of the year everyone's buying their trophies they know who their winner is they want to get their name plate engraved they want to personalize their trophy or their championship belt or any of the other hundreds of products we have and then we also have if you came in last place we got last place loser trophies as well (laughs) So it. people in the middle don't get anything. Yeah. It's the losers yeah. and the winners. Right. Yeah, who, who cares about the middle people? Yeah. You right. either got to succeed or ultimately fail. That's it. That's one right. of the two. That's how Fair you enough. get known. One of, known, <laughs> either famous or notorious. One yeah. of the two. Um, exactly. So good luck with that. That's that's great because you've only been I doing am, this a uh, couple of years and it's taken off. It's been an unbelievable ride. I mean, going from literally my garage where I was packing these things like – on my off time to it's in a massive million square foot facility and we're a small part of that like we don't trust me we're not we don't take up the whole facility we're just a small portion in there and being partnered with NBC and Roto World and having a deal with Matthew Barry and uh, Yahoo it's just it's been an incredible ride that's awesome so you don't even you don't even have to pack your own stuff anymore you got people <laughs> I got people to pack. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Attaboy, Dax. Now we know we're making it. <laughs> Good deal. All right. So Hollywood stuff this time of year, it, mm-hmm. it kind of like goes on break. 
it seems like um, everybody's on vacation, like you were talking. Uh, I mean, tell the stars out here, they don't need a vacation. We right. need to be talking about right. them. They're on vacation all the time. I mean, for the <laughs> love. What is the deal? It's like over the holidays, everybody just like shuts down, goes out of production. <laughs> and you don't hear it. It really is. And I remember when I worked at TMZ, we were the only show that didn't have hiatus. So we were there working the weekend in between Christmas and New Year's. And every year for 12 years, I was like, why are we here right now? I don't understand. Right. Like, There's nothing to report on. Running? Yeah. But then something huge would happen yeah. every time. And yeah. I'd look at Harvey and be like, okay, I get it why we're here. Yeah. yeah. And you guys that's are the only ones around to yeah. cover it. And that's why you yeah. were TMZ. Exactly. That's the truth. Um, for As far as Hollywood stuff right now, probably the biggest story is uh, movies that are coming mm-hmm. out. That's when the blockbusters, a lot of them are around Christmas time. How amazing is the Top Gun trailer? Oh. Goosies. It's not out till next I, June. I, yeah, I think next year sometime. I'm not sure when. Yeah. But that's the thing. They've been literally teasing this thing for like yeah. a year and a half now. I'm like, put the damn movie on already. Right. Like, I hate getting teasers <laughs> and snippets. And then when it ends, it's like summer 2095. <laughs> I'm like, what? What? what are we doing here? Like, why would you tease me this early when you know you've got two more years, 95 more years worth of, of teasing. You know, production? I'm yeah. going to be exhausted by the time I see the whole movie in snippets. Oh, <laughs> That's a good point. Great. But the the teaser, the trailer, it is cool. Oh, it's incredible. It, is it, looks, cool. Great. Oh, it looks really good. Tom, I'm always impressed with him. I mean, I know that he does all of his own stunts, but like the guy really hasn't aged in the last 30 years it's from the crazy. last one. It's crazy. I know it. It's that crazy gene. <laughs> I think that keeps him <laughs> yeah. young. I'm Is not... Xenon or Xenu or whatever? I'm that... going to start jumping on some couches because I need some crazy gene. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, it might be, yeah, because what is the, the, the levels in Scientology, Scientology, right? To get to. Oh, yeah, when you, you cross your bridge or something. <laughs> That's, Cross that's your the, rainbow bridge. That's the puppies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't remember what it is. I mean, that, that thing is fascinating. I watched yeah. all the episodes with uh, Leah Remini. Yes. Right. That was very intense. Yeah. Yep. Are there going to be more of that? She's not done yet, is she? I don't think so. I don't think you're ever going to be done if Scientology is still doing its thing. I yeah, think she's, she's probably got lots of stories to talk to people about. Yeah, she's on the case. That is that's fascinating. Just uh, that's to, scary. To see it. Yeah. We should probably stop talking about it. Okay. That's right. We don't want to get su- we don't want to get suicided on your podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, let's see what other movies. Okay, um, what's the one we were just talking about? Bombshell. Bombshell, yeah, about Fox behind the scenes of Fox News. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That Thoughts? looks good. Are you looking forward to it? Yes. Yeah. I, I mean the reviews it sounds like it's going to be a great yeah. movie. Yeah. Absolutely. No, it looks really good. I think it's an interesting look. Uh, I'm always amazed by like just the transformation with uh, Russell Crowe. Uh, it's I'm gonna tell you across the board, uh, the one that plays Gretchen, mm-hmm. um, the one that plays Megan, uh, those actors. Uh, Charlie Theron is one of them. Yep. I can't remember all everybody that's in it, but you're right, uh, Russell Crowe. I mean, unrecognizable. Unre- all of them. I, it's just like, yeah, yeah. They look anyway. Exactly. I, think, I think it'll be good. I think it's a a tough story to tell, but a story that needs to be out there. And yeah. you know, with the Me Too movement going on, I think that it will probably do very well in the box office. I actually got to see uh, Charlize on um, on the View. I saw a snippet of her on there. And she's she's done a really good job when she's representing this movie. I, I don't know what her political leanings are. I think I have a pretty good idea, but it doesn't really matter. Um, she she's really uh, passionate about this and and playing a character who is alive, by the way, you know, and it's based on a true story. And um, talking about Gretchen Carlson herself in that situation happened way before Me Too came along, and yep. she was um, think what you will of Gretchen Carlson. Um, she really was putting herself against the machine um, to take down Roger Ailes as it ultimately ended up. But um, the controversy and all that and realizing she didn't have the power of the movement behind her at all because she's on Fox News on top of it. There's already that little bit of a... right. Yeah. By the way, I got I got Russell Crowe mixed in with this movie. That was, that was from the other movie. It's John Lithgow that plays Roger Ailes in this movie. Oh, got it. That's right. Well, that's why I didn't look like Russell Crowe. My bad there, guys. Like, man, Horrible that's entertainment the... reporter. No, that's actually, that would be the best transformation ever for Russell Crowe. Because I just saw like, the scene like... with the guy, with it, with Roger Ailes in it, and I didn't know who was playing it. I, I'm thinking, man, so that is I could have gone with it. Who's that makeup person? No wonder he didn't look like it. Right. 
Well, they, they've got, he played, he was in the other movie that uh, is about the same thing. So I, I, I got a little switch there, but it's all good. You've been focusing on trophies, Dax. You've been focusing on trophies. You're fine. Allison Janney. There's there a go. lot of people in that movie. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you've been focusing on other stuff. Yeah, we, we understand. We understand. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> How's the family, by the way? Family's doing good. Uh, <laughs> last day of school for the kids today. So we are crying. Yes. Um, <laughs> two weeks of day two drinking. Weeks of kids running yeah. around the house. When you guys go see a movie, uh, do you default? Like, do, is it always just kids' movie or nothing? Like, you guys don't take the time to go see an adult movie, or is it always no. just kids? Yeah, we. We, we don't do stuff for ourselves. What are you talking about? Right. I'm just wondering. That stopped, that stopped seven years ago. Now, um, <laughs> yeah, we don't really, I guess we see them once they're like in, they're available at home. Yeah. You yeah. know, then, then we're like either renting them from the home or watching them on TV or something. We don't really go to the movies unless it's a kid movie. Yeah. God, we sound like such losers. <laughs> no, no, it's the truth. It just is what it's, it is. Like it if, is. You have, if you have a night off and you don't want to go to a movie theater, like, you know, you're going to go there with the kids probably next week to see a movie. You want to go somewhere where you yeah. can have adult conversation. Yeah. Right. Exactly. We, yeah. We'll do a date night before we do a movie night. Yeah. And Disney says, thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Disney, I've pretty much given all of my paychecks to Disney recently <laughs> between their Marvel and uh, empire, yeah. Star Wars empire, their animated empire. It's ridiculous. Do you have Disney? What's that service? Disney, Disney, Channel? Disney premium or whatever. Disney plus. Do you have that? No, we don't have it. It's lit. We, we probably will soon enough. But it's awesome. Yeah. That's what everyone says. <laughs> yeah. You know, okay. Do you have Hulu? What do you uh, no, we have, uh, what do we have? Not Hulu. We have Netflix. We've got at t now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Love it. Okay. The reason I brought up Hulu, I have Hulu. And I just okay. had made the comment this week because I just received notice that they're going to increase their prices by $10 a month. Oh, thanks, Hulu. And then I got home yesterday. Hulu had an outage. And I was like, oh, how ironic. You just sent me notice. You're going to charge me more. And now I can't get anything. I couldn't get, get anything for you. it. took me, it, it was about five o'clock. Or a little, it was about an hour I was dinking around with that thing. And I tried everything. Nothing worked. It wouldn't play Thinking anything. it was your fault? It wouldn't play live. It wouldn't play anything that I had saved. I was like, are you kidding me? This is crazy. I, I tweeted well, it's it. It's worth you know. It's worth them upcharging then. Yeah. All, right. the, all the more so reason. So worth it. So I did send them a nice little <clears throat> passive aggressive note I saw on that tweet. <laughs> <laughs> it was like 8 o'clock that night. I go, oh, mama's drunk. <laughs> no, she wasn't. Mama was pissed. <laughs> She was calling out Hulu support <laughs> underscore support on Twitter. <laughs> uh oh. People like that tweet. Damn it. Yeah. I need to talk with your manager. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm Karen. I need to talk to your manager, please. <laughs> I'm pissed. I was mad. I was. I was like, you got to be kidding me. You're going to charge me 10 bucks more for this crap. <laughs> But it's all good now. Everything works, so we're fine. Uh, stuff that is free is um, the Hollywood Pipeline podcast. I listened to yeah. your episode from, was it uh, was it this week? The most recent one was, yeah. we were going to talk about it? Yeah, the most recent one we just did was with um, Jason Ellis. That's right. He's a that was huge good. radio DJ. He's like one of those um, regulars on the Stern show. Um, he's a former MMA fighter. He was a pro skateboarder, like just one of like the most wow. macho, manly men out there. And we had this conversation with him and it was so fascinating, you guys, because um, he just released a book and it details kind of like his hidden life, right? Like he, um, he's been very open throughout the past about his like sexual adventures with women. And this time it's his sexual adventures with men because he has he has like said I identify with being bisexual. Wow. And it is so fascinating because he is he just doesn't hold anything back. He's raw and he's honest and even he's married right now and him and his wife have a really interesting relationship, one that I I can't really picture. Does she <laughs> did she know when she oh, married yeah. him? She is on board. She was kind of the one that gets him to like be honest with himself and with the public because when he came out and started talking about it, he wow. lost a lot of viewers. I was going to say he his lost. whole lifestyle, he was basing it on this certain persona and he yep. thought he had to maintain that. Wow. Correct. Wow. And yeah. then, and then, you know, she was the one that was like, if this is you, this is you like, do you don't hide yourself for the rest of your life. And their, their relationship was very open and they invite a lot of people into their house. Wow. And yeah. And like I said, 
I can't picture it working and being healthy, but it works for them. Right. That's what I, I, yeah. Like, but you know, on the other side of it too, being, you looking at like, uh, oh, for example, like Caitlyn Jenner, Bruce Jenner hiding it for years and not saying, not saying that um, this L- Ellis is the same situation, but hiding it for years in, inside your relationship. But from the very beginning of a relationship, you're both open with everybody, with yourself and with your spouse. There's none, there's none of that inside, you know, that secret that you're hiding with the person that you're supposed to travel. Yeah. 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 So, you know, who knows? I can't imagine it either. At least he did have that. that She knew, you know, as as opposed to like Caitlyn Jenner, she kept it from everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I think that like, you're right, that is a healthier way to look at it because at least they're on board. They know what's going on. You're not hiding something going behind their back. There's like honesty and openness there. Um, So it, it was just a really cool talk to just hear and you know he was he's been hurt a lot over the years and i think one of the big things is right now he goes i haven't felt accepted by the lgbt community he goes Mm -hmm. it's interesting because he 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 feels like that community makes it sound like they're so loving and you know bring me Mm -hmm. in bring me in but he goes when i'm around gay men they go well if you like men then you're gay there's no ifs ands or buts yeah and and he goes, but that's not the case. He goes, I like women and I like men. So like, why are you making me choose? Why are you not making me feel accepted by this is what I like in my life? Yeah. And he, he just can't wrap his head around that. And so that was a really interesting topic of our conversation as wow. well. Wow. So feeling like he's not accepted on either side mm-hmm. is what he's worried about and why he probably kept Seems it like um, a lot of different um, subsects of yeah. subsets of society uh, preach inclusivity and come on over. We love everybody. As long as you believe what we believe, then, then you're good. Then we'll let you in. As long as you do it like we do. Yeah. Yeah. So (laughs) that's interesting. That is very interesting. Well, I saw your Instagram story yesterday and I thought, man, he never does this about his podcast. That must be good. So that's why I listen to it. Yeah. (laughs) It's it's a really, it's a good one. (laughs) Good for you. we, We had him on. And then right after that, we filmed one with Mike, the situation. The oh my sitch. God. Sure. So that'll be going up next week. But both of them, like we got done, Adam and I like looked at each other. We're like, those are really good podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> and the sitch, like, is, the sitch has been out of jail yeah. for what? Like six months now, maybe if. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it was him and his wife sat down with us. But like, I looked at him like, why does this have to be at the end of December? Like, right. who's going to listen to our podcast right, right now? At the end you, of I'll December? tell you what. You, <laughs> you set the bar really high for 2020. Let's <laughs> just right. go with that. It's like, That's okay, right. we're going to set the bar high and just keep rolling. But now, if people wanted to catch your podcast, is, what's your podcast called? It's called the Hollywood Pipeline Podcast. So Easy. you can search Hollywood Pipeline in iTunes, or you can go to kabc.com slash HPP. Very nice. Very nice. Of course, yeah. on your website, you're going to find all that information as well so they can check it out. And on the website, you do have tons of pictures all the time. Whatever Lots pictures of are the labs. You want to go see shirtless Justin Bieber? He is up there showing <laughs> off all of his tattoos. Does he ever put on his shirt? I don't know. I, want to- <laughs> I know, right? He's just trying to, he's like covering his body with so many tattoos. It looks like he's wearing a shirt now. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of, speaking of which, he's kind of like... Uh, tamed it down a little bit well he's got i think the marriage was a big deal for him i think he's got his new album coming out um he was leaving the dance studios where we actually got him with his shirt off but he's got this new album coming out which i think deals a lot with facing his depression Uh with his married life and hearing that it's going to be a very good album scooter braun his manager said that this is the best he's ever sounded wow so man wow I think this is a good spot for Justin right now. I hope Very so. Nice. I hope he's turned a corner and, you know, cause I, I understand, you know, he started when he's 12 years old. Right. So it's like, I'm sure growing up in that, he didn't have a chance for his maturity to catch up <laughs> with all oh, the yeah. imagine, other. Uh, imagine every dumb thing you've done in your life being in front of cameras uh, and can't. everyone's judging it all the time. Yeah. Can't. I can't even imagine yeah. just growing up with a normal life with cell phones and having pictures of everything I did when I was growing up. I can't or imagine. Even- or even just like college life. Yes. Like when you're your craziest, you're doing the dumbest things you've ever done, mm-hmm. just yeah. living life to the fullest because you can. But then everyone at the party is taking photos of you and putting it out and you're getting in trouble and yeah. every mistake you make. 
the whole world talks about it. It explains why he wanted to pee in a mop bucket. Right. Oh, yeah, sure does. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that, too. <laughs> wow. I've forgotten about that. I forgot about that, too. <laughs> Dax, you are the man. We appreciate you taking the time um, yes. for the weekend to chat with us. And uh, Dax Holt on Twitter, Instagram, um, Facebook, Hollywood Pipeline, Trophy Smack, Trophy all that Smack, stuff. all that stuff. Merry Thank Christmas. Happy New Merry Year. Christmas. Happy Holidays. All that good Thank stuff. Thank you. Happy holidays, and I will talk to you guys later. Sounds good, buddy. Awesome, bud. See you later. Bye. Dax Holt, um, he's on our podcast yes. well, a couple, every couple weeks. We Whenever we can podcast. snag him. That's right. Whenever he's not busy. <laughs> um, it's Pat and JT on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Pat and JT Podcast. Pat and JT Podcast. A Parkville Media Production.